So um, can we have a recap of what we've had for those of you who have joined the lectures from learning outcome one to learning outcome three? Could we have a recap of what we've learned so far? Or if there are some points that you have written down. Um, policies and guidance in health and social care. Um, yes. yes, do you still have your, do you still have problems with your video camera? Yeah. Uh, when I press it, it says unable to access camera. I don't understand what the problem is. I need to sort it out. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, proceed, please. Proceed. We've done um, policies and guidance in health and social care. Um, we've done how that um, impacts um, the the health and social care. Um, we've done legislation um, and we've done how, which bodies give out the legislation and policies. And we've done um, principles and values. Okay, that's fine. Um, who else want to? Support what I've what we've done so far. Elijah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, I missed um the first and the third lecture, but I attended the second lecture. Yeah, and um, in the second lecture, um, we you um told us the about the guidance. We spoke about the guidance in um the health sector. We spoke about the um government regulation, the legislation, professional bodies, and um, you explained to us um, what the professional bodies were, um, like um, CQC, um, GMC, NMC, HCPC, um, and the rest. And then um, um, we spoke about the the impacts of the legislation, um, and then um, we also discussed. Um, well, that that's all I can talk about right now. That's fine. So I'll say, Elisha, did you join? Did you join only one lecture? Yes, yeah, so far it's one lecture. I was able to join. That's fine. But I've yeah. had a chance to listen to the recordings. No, not yet. Why? Excuse me? Why? Why? Yeah, uh, well, I've been um, a little bit busy with uh, my dissertation, but I'm done now, so I will um, be able to do watch the recordings. Because we have two weeks within which you need to submit your assignment after the discussion yes today. yes i, I advise, will do i did advise everyone to start working on it for every okay like just so it doesn't become too much of a workload no no it won't now i think i am free i'm a, a bit free now and i'll be able to jump on it that's fine look man you want to say something yeah um the, the first lecture and then a second lecture as well. And then I was able to attend the, okay. the third lecture, which is um, yesterday. However, I, I listened to the first lecture. I've not listened to the second one because um 
I I find it so difficult to you know to get access to the to the lecture on the module. But now I'm I've been explained on how to how to to go about it. So and then and according to what I read on the first lecture, and then I read on the the government policy, the the guidance, the those in charge of um of making decisions on um on health and social care. And then the lights of the, the the secrecy and the rest of them. So yesterday I we spoke about um safeguarding and then the impact of safeguarding in health and social care. We also we also talked about um diversity and then um, equality. We try to you know differentiate them and uh, their impact. And um also we spoke about the the white as a carer also. That is all now. George, George, who else have not spoken? Is it uh, Ayomi Day? Is that Benji, right? Ayomi Day, you are at work, I guess. Okay. Let's crack on that. So basically, we all have a fair share of um, what what has been taught from L one to L three. I think Jesse has been consistent, so she should be able to help. Sorry, I don't know if I'm the only one having this issue. I can hardly, I can hardly hear you. So can you please be audible, please? Okay. Um, please, can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Elijah, Elijah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but it's cracked. It, cracked. it goes off and comes back here. Yes. Oh, is it? Have you checked your side? Are you using your phones? Yes, I'm using my phone. So that's why you guys have an issue. What about... Uh, is it look, man? Yeah, yeah I, that's why I was the one that just spoke, not quite. Oh, look, man. Are you using your phone as well? Yeah, I'm using my phone. I'm sure probably that's why you guys are having issues. Uh... I guess I can't well. assess like, my laptop. No. Yeah, but I mean, don't worry, you've already logged onto your phone, but I'm sure that's why you guys are having uh, Elisha, you can hear me, isn't it? By yes, yes, I, yes, I can. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, so let's crack on. Obviously, today we know we want to look a bit of the, um, the task that you are meant to do as a learner or a student relative to work, whatever we've achieved in the lesson outcomes, LO1 to LO3, and therefore you are expected to have your assignment submissions. And so we just want to do, just brush through and see a few tips that may help you to identify yourself wanting so that you can achieve the marks that you want, whether you want to be a pass mark student, LO1. Mary students or distinguished students. Obviously, you are much aware that uh, per this uh, university, UK University, uh, we've adopted that our references, which is very key for every assignment that you, you need to have some references relative to the kind of things that you say on your assignments. And it's very important that you reference at the bottom of the assignment, any research thing or anything that you have taken somewhere, it needs to be captured. And for that purposes, there are different types of references. We we use the Harvard type of reference, okay? The Harvard type of references. That's what you need to do. In addition, you might find oftentimes the word explain, define, describe. So if you are being told to explain, then you have to be very detailed. You should ensure that at least you have about 70 to 100 words 
if you are told to explain something, which is very, very important as well. You may have words like yes. compare and contrast. Or Sorry, please, can you come again, please? I didn't get that. You said if um were to explain, should have how many words? Uh, can you see the screen as well, please, Elisha? Can you see the screen? Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes, I can. So Okay, yes, I can. Okay, so what I'm saying is also on the screen, okay? Okay. So I'm saying, if you see the word explain, define or describe, it tells you that you cannot be shallow in your description, okay? You need to be very detailed, all right? The word explain, it means that you have to be very detailed. You have to go more detailed in, a, in, 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 in your reply or in your statement. It's different from state, but when it, once you see explain, it's the same thing described. So you need to be more thorough in your answers. Okay, and she look at around seven two hundred words. All right. Then when she sees something uh, well like examine, critically analyze. Okay, those words. You should be looking at probably 100, 200, 125 words. And then compare, contrast, you know, compare, contrast, critically, all those ones, evaluate. These are all things that you need to be more detailed. But at least, at least you should be having, looking at around 50 to 200 words when it comes to these kinds of uh, that you're supposed to do and submit your assignment. So these are things that few things that I would want you to take notice of or take note of. Okay. And I've said that when it comes to references, we use the Harvard style of reference. And I'm sure many of you have read and know about the Harvard style of reference, isn't it? Are we there? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I hope you guys are familiar with the other type of reference, isn't it? Yes. Yes. In the UK, most universities, about 80% uses the Harvard style of reference, okay? Yes. So example is the one below it. So for example, Slack Johnson, Brandon Jones, 2011. Now what it means is that, what's the meaning of these three names? What's the meaning of that? When you see in the, in the reference column, three names are being mentioned. What, what does it mean? The, the authors, the, the group of um, people who, who make the research. Amazing. Um, Elisha, is there anything you want to add to it? Mm, no, just, a, just as he said, so the, those are the names of the authors. Okay, so at what point would you see these three names? At what point would it be below your when you finish everything below okay. your reference list, or would you see them inside your inside your writings? At where where would you see this? This would be in your writing. No, it can't be in your writing. Mm -hmm. Hello, are we here? Yes. Jesse, everyone, are, are we together? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Elisha, um, look, man, what do you have to say? Wait, you're trying to say something. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm listening. Oh, yeah, I just listening. Question. I thought you, I thought you were only contributing. Okay. I there. I think you, you are not able to communicate, isn't it? Okay. So, um, Elisha. Yes. Um, I think you mentioned some you, you, you did mention you were doing some dissertation. Okay. Yes, and I'm using the APA. Ah, okay. Um, style. Style. okay. I understand. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay. So you see, in normally you would have seen this normally in your reference list. Not normally, not in the right. You understand? Yeah. When it comes to the Harvard stuff. Are we all here? Are we are we all there? Yes. When you are when you have finished all, I mean, we all know that. And your reference list, you need to be very detailed. If it's even twenty, 
20 people, 20 authors, you have to state everybody's name, all right? Okay. Are we there? Everybody's okay. name and the year. But it, with the harvest style of references, Olushola, you've just joined. Afternoon, Dan. Yeah, can you put your name on the chat room for me, please? All right. Okay. So normally, um, in the reference list where you where you, you you stabilize all the references that you have used in the entire statement on your entire work, this is where normally you have to put it in this way, okay? In this way. But even even if you if you look at this, they've just made it very simple. Okay, the book name, the, the book, the, the, the name of the book is not even even, even written there. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Elijah, yes. do you agree with me? Yes. Yeah, this is short. So I'm sure because of the example, that's why. But normally you would have if it's 15 people, you state all their names, then the year comes, and then you must state the, the name of the book. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Then the name of the book. And will it be in brackets? Yes, yes. So you see how this is exactly, you know, it tells you that there are three authors. Do you agree? Yeah, yes. So we have Slack, we have John Johnston, and we have Radin Jones, isn't it? Yeah, yes. So now it tells you the year. Am I right? Yes. yes. It doesn't tell you the name of the book. or <laughs> It doesn't tell the name of the book. So there should be another comma, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you understand me now? Are you, do you guys understand? Yes. yes. So you may have a comma, you can have a stop, and then the name of the book, say maybe how the NHS has impacted England, okay? Yes. Okay. I, hope, I hope you guys are on the same level with me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so then you have how the NHS has been Then you might even have the page number sometimes, okay? It may, okay. It, may, it may be that you took that information on a particular page of the book. So if you realize some of the reference, you might, you might see PG5. Have you realized that? Or PG4? Yeah. Yes. The word PG means page. All right. Okay. Guys, it looks like we have a lot of breakages. You said? I, I, I said, are we on the same level? Do you guys yes. have an explanation? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because you have a lot of feedback, so I'm getting confused. Look, man, do you understand my explanation? Yes, are you there? Yes. Yes, I understand. Okay, so those digital information will only be at your reference list, okay? Below your 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 the entire work, below it, your reference list. That's why you have all this data information. But in your writings, you don't have the time, you, you don't you are too busy, you don't have the time to state all this. So normally you state in other type of reference in your writing, you say according to Slack and L. And all ETL. Have you seen that? Have you seen those writing before? Yes. State all the three names or 20 names. There's no time for that. Yeah. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. So when you are right in your writings, you don't do the same as you do in the reference list because there's no time for you to state 20 authors that according to Slack, according to Johnston, according to Brassy, they are all writers of the books. You understand? They are yeah. all there. So you don't have yeah. to state all of them. You state only one and say an all. Okay? Okay. That covers all the rest. So you mentioned only the first name. Slack and all. A-T-A-L. Have you seen that before? Yeah. Yes. E-T-A-L. Slack and mm -hmm. all. E-T-A-L. That covers the rest of the other authors. You don't have to put all of them there. Are we together? Yes. Yes. Lucio, are we together? Yes. Look, look, man. Are we together? Yes, please. Are you getting understanding? Sure. So, whilst in a reference list, you are if it's twenty authors, just one.
pass the reference list, you need to what's in, in the in the reference that you need to state data information, data information about everything. But in the writings, you only state the first person's name, which is Slack, and you say L all according to that. And you put the book there. So according to Slack and all, and then you put the book name there, and that is it. You continue. Okay? And make your point. So this is that. So you only say so and all. So Slack and all, then you you put the book there, blah blah blah. blah you say suggest so that in um in their book, suggest so that, blah 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 blah. And then you can make your point. You know, you put the point, then you can say, I disagree or I agree. Or in my opinion, according to their book, they, they, they made three points. Black. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. So, yes. so this is what we call analyze. You are in, in an you are not analyze. So when you're analyzing, you 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 refer to people and you can also bring your own opinion in. You understand me? Okay. So you are analyzing. So yeah. you are trying to compare and contrast. Have you seen the word compare contrast? You compare yes. and then you contrast. In contrasting, you can then say, even though this person says that, but in your opinion, you feel that if this was done this way, it would have been better. We okay. want to see you bringing your own initiatives as well, okay, in your submission. All right. Okay. 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 Good. So let's proceed. Obviously, you know about um this three already. I think I've been talking about it. Past grade, merit grade, and distinction, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And I've always said that your past grade is your fundamental one. But to get a merit, it's addition of your past grades. An extension of it, which normally in your model or assignment brief, you will see what you need to do in addition. And I'm I'm trying to give you the tips that normally to be able to achieve a merit mark, we should be able to see a bit more input. You don't have to be shallow in your answers. Reason, compare, contrast. Then we can see that you have done a bit more research that can lead you into merit. And then Distinction, you should go more beyond just explaining in detail. There should be more analysis, critical analysis and all that, bringing your own initiative and say, even though they say that, I say that I agree, I disagree and all that. These are things that leads you to distinction. You are able to do thorough research, a lot of references, okay? And those things help you to attain a distinction grade. So it's a, distinction is a, is a, addition, is a combination of the past grade and the merit grade that leads you to distinction. Do you have any questions? No. Any questions at all, guys? Yeah, yes, I do. Is there um a limit to the reference you can use or not at all? No, no, all not right. at all. I use as many references as you want. But just remember remember that as many references you use in your in your raw work, you're gonna have you have to state all of them in the reference list. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. All right. Yes. If you, use, if you use 30 references, you have to you have a lot of work to do. You have to state all the 30 references. In okay. some research work, in some research work, for those of you who have done masters, you or even you have to do what we call bibliography. Have you heard of it before? Bibliography. Yes. Okay. That's different from your reference. Okay. So let's track on. The, our first task, we are being advised to choose our a country in which we can use as a guide. I would advise that at this at this present moment, all of you are in UK and not in Africa or, or wherever you come from, if you are not a, a born, if you are not born here. And therefore, to make it easier for you, you choose UK as your country, okay? Yes. Okay. So... Okay. I've just stated this. I said, these things I mentioned, you say critical thinking, very, very, those are 
study skills that you need to look into, analysis, gathering of information when it comes to references and research work. Mm -hmm. and talk about gathering of information, and that is why we are Who is talking, please? And commit yourself. And um, Olu, 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 what came me? Are you have you just joined us? Yes. Please, would you mute yourself and put your name at the at the chat room for me, please? All right, That's already done. Right. Oh, you've done already, isn't it? That's fine. So, gathering of information is part of research work. Hence, why we need to do references, analysis. I mentioned about analysis, writing skills very important, academic skills including references, the application of IT skills very important because some of the research where you need to do diagrams, histograms, data, data compilation, and all that. So, um, IT skills plays very important role when it comes to assignment submission for that matter research works um so let's look at the first task it says that um identify a current company government policies relating to health in your chosen country i've already said that the chosen country should be uk all right but yeah. what are the current current government policies that relates to health in your chosen country. So if it's UK, obviously we, we did a lecture on this. Obviously, till that should come to your, your mind quickly. Uh, the health and, health and Care Act 19, 2022 and all those ones, you understand me? Okay? Okay. So, okay. Yeah, so these are things that is identify those current. Mm. So you said the fact that it says identify doesn't mean that you just take them and leave them as it is. Mm. Don't just so you are identify and explain, okay, what the act or the art seeks to do. Don't just leave them that way. Don't just state. It's not just state. It says identify. So you don't state it and explain a brief of what they seek to do. All right. And where you got that information from, that will be your references. You understand? Um, yes. That will be your references. So we can talk about the Health and Care Act 2022. We can talk about the adult social care reforms. We can talk about the health and social care levy. We can talk about the global health framework and name them, quite a number of them. Okay? And can then- we talk about- um. Maybe mental health um you can you can yeah. so anything yeah. relating yeah, so to it, any care exactly it says your current government policies current government policies relating to health and social care in your chosen country so your chosen country is obviously uk so go and do research of current policies in the uk that is related to health and social care okay of which mental health is part of it okay Okay. So Dan, I want to ask a question because if you look at all this art on um, there are much. So is everyone we have to touch or few of it? As many as many as you can identify. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. As many as you can identify. Don't Sorry. let me stop you. Um there's something I want to say. Okay. Um, when they say identify. The word identifies does not mean we are going into details. Not at all, but you have to get, at least give a brief description. You cannot leave it. Oh, like okay. That. Okay. You understand? Okay. So now even though even though it says identify, you cannot it's not state different from yeah. state. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now because you only explain, you only give us explain, compare, and stop. You never give identify what okay. how many words do we need no for, uh, identify, for, identify is not part of it I'm, I'm i'm educating you that with identify yeah it, it, you don't need number of words okay oh, okay oh, okay that is what i just yeah you don't need so you are you are identifying something but it is also not to say state 
health and social care at end of it. Okay. Oh, okay. You understand me, guys? Sure. Okay. So you are you identify, but you need to at least speak a bit about it. You understand? Yeah. You need to give a brief this thing about the health and mm -hmm. what health and health and social care at twenty twenty two. Okay. But what does it do? Okay. So a brief. It aims in solving blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly. This ad ah, so, came to came into play. So um um to my own level of understanding, according to what you're trying to say now, are you saying we should try to identify and explain the brief explanation brief. on what they do, their impacts in health That's, transition? No, no, oh. no, no, no. Impact is different. You are okay. going faster to you are going faster. Let's take oh, okay. it. Impact <laughs> is not part of it. Okay. Look at the question. Look at the question. We should relate it. Okay. Impact is a different thing altogether. Look at the question, please. Uh, is it look? Is it look? Yeah. Look, man. Let's take yeah. it easy one at a time. Yeah. The word okay. is identify. All I'm saying is there's a difference between identify and state. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So yes. we are not just stating health and social care at, and that is it. You know, we are not stating. But I'm saying that I'm giving you the trick that give at least a brief description about what you identify, okay? Okay. Okay. Ends there, okay? Not impact, just a brief description of what you identify. So don't just state health and social care at, and leave it like that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Don't just state mental act and leave it like that, okay? okay. Give a, a brief description Reasons why it came to force a brief description, okay. Okay, this, this act okay. Came, came into place to solve this and that and that and that, and that's it. Full stop, okay. Okay, it's different from explain, but identify them. I expect that when you identify, you have to give a brief description about what you've identified. Very, very important, okay. Okay, I have a question, please. Go ahead. Um, once um, we are identifying them, should we put them in paragraphs or they should have their own headings or have, yeah. we can right, number so just... okay? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Or we, we can number them down as we identify them, maybe we'll put them on a number. Maybe number one, we have this um, act, and then we give a brief explanation. then. We identify the second one, give it a no number two, or we just put them in paragraphs or um, just um headings. Um um with 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 that it it would differ from student to student. The, the most okay. some, while while you choose to use number, somebody may use bullet points. Okay. Okay, I thought um you you know it a style for everyone. I thought there's a style for everyone. No. But if so, every student will have his own, that's okay, it's fine. Yes. So obviously there should be an heading because obviously if if it's one, if it's health and there should be an heading which which will be health and care act twenty twenty two. That's the heading. Yeah. And then below it yes. you give you explain. You understand? Okay. You understand me? But what I'm saying yes, that I do. you can use numbers, somebody may know you, somebody may use bullet points. Okay. Okay. Do you understand, guys? Yes. You might say number one. Yeah. Somebody will, will, will not use number one. Somebody may use a bullet point. Okay. But there should be a heading, obviously. Health and care. Oh. Ad, adult social care. Mental health act. And then you talk a bit. Of. Example, health, health and care at 2022. This act aims to improve the quality and safety of NHS. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yes, okay. I do. That's what I'm, yeah. You know, a brief, a, the word is brief. A brief description of what you've mentioned, and then we carry on. Guys, are you on the same level? Yes. Yeah. So, um, Dan, um, for example, now, Earth and Care Art, based on the manual, uh, it's uh, the one you explained there was 22, and the current one is 2022, so we are expected to discuss briefly on 2022. 2022, current, yeah, where is current, so let's not forget. All, All right. right. Let's not make that mistake. Guys, are you guys here? 
let's not yes. make that mistake. The word is current government policies. So in your research, look at more current ones, okay? Okay. All right, okay. Okay. Now, the second task is explain the impact of policy on of the social care sector and on the provision of care within your chosen country. So you have a UK as a so explain. So now, are you getting the difference now? Yes. Yes. This time is explained. Look, man, you, you understand now? Yes. This time it says explain the impact. So now you can you can go more detail. You understand me? Of whatever okay. whatever you you would say as the impact. It may be patient safety, it may be staff safety, and then you give a proper explanation to it. All right. This one you can now go to the you know we I gave you the point explanation. Well, how many words, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, 72. Only. Yeah, you can go into that and ask as much as you can write. Don't forget that the more you the input, the more input you put in, the better it determines whether you are a past student or married student or decision student. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Any 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 more questions? Um, is yes. there a... okay? No, please yes, go right. ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Is there a word limit on the whole assignment? You don't have any word limit. No word limit. Okay, yes, great. But all, all, all I can apply to that don't put in so much references because then you're going to have a lot of reference to defend. Okay, so okay, re reference, but then the more reference that you you have to make sure you capture every everything, each of them in the reference list, okay? But you don't have a word count. Okay. You don't have, you don't have a word count. All okay. right, then the question, the question I have is um, the materials. Uh -huh. Are there specific materials we should use and not use? You can use any material related to your office. Okay, so if, if I were okay. you, for every lecture, there are reference points. Do you remember? You guys remember? Yes. For every lecture, there are reference notes. If I were you, go back to every lecture, look at the references, and pick those information from there. Okay. Even okay. should if, we... even if... so, on. we can add others. Can we add, add others? Sorry, I'm cutting you. Can we add others? Aside those reference, you are not limited to. It's your research. It's your work. You're not limited okay. to only the reference that you have in your model. Okay? okay. In your model, you have lots of journals and all that. But I'm saying that there are so so many journals, so many books you can get online relative to this assignment. But for any any of them, you have to make sure you you reference them. Okay. Okay. Any more questions? Any more question? So explain the impact of, well, if you go to the lecture notes, you can get a bit more information about the impact, okay? Yes. A lot of impact we spoke about, patient continuity, patient safety, staff safety, compliance regulation, risk optimization, safety environment. Remember we spoke about all this, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So again, there's no well limit. However, your references you have to remember. So let's go to that. You see, so let's go see to gain a merit grade, you should also assess how the policy meets the current needs of population in terms of the health of social care. Okay. So if you're a student and you want to achieve a merit grade, it will need you to do this in addition to your your what you've done. In addition, you have to do that. Okay. Assess how the policy meets the current needs of the population. In terms of the health and social care, so you've you've identified certain policies that impact, but they say assess them that indeed these policies that you've chosen or you've identified are they meeting the current population needs? You understand me? Of your country, we all know that there's so much complaint with the NHS, don't we? Waiting times and all that, don't we? Yeah. Jesse, don't you agree? Yeah. 
Yeah, so you, yes. look, you compare, contrast, and look at your current country, current situation. Uh, are you trying to say something? Okay, so compare. There's so much waiting time with the NHS. It is written the NHS don't have a lot of nurses. Is that not true? And hence yes. why yes. I bring a lot of nurses from abroad. Is that not the case? Yes. How many of you have been to the A and E? How long do you have to wait? Ages. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm um, think beyond the box. You understand me? Yeah. Guys, are you there? Think beyond yes. the box. The reality, practicality, day to day. Look at it and see if those policies are meeting population needs. Because there's maybe there's, the population is increasing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And all that, and people are getting older every time. There's a lot of aging, aging, <laughs> age bracket. People are getting older. So, are the policies are they meeting the needs? The funds are they meeting the needs of the population? So these are things that we want to we want to see you assessing them. The policies are they meeting and compare and contrast. Argue, 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 and say, look, make the point. Argue, add more flesh to it. These are the things we want to see. In, in achieving okay. a, a marriage man, okay? Okay, excuse me, please. I have a question. Right. While, while we argue and we give our opinion, do we yeah. have to back it up with reference. Uh, a reference? Yes, yes, with a reference. Okay. Reference, with a reference. So okay. your argument may be based on a research you have seen. So you, you, you back it, say, according to, you know what I mean? According yes. to Mr. and Mrs. Book of this, and uh, I agree with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the analogy. You understand? I agree yes. with, your, with your point. So there should be your argument. This is how you do a research. This is how you... And if assess, if a, I'm an assessor as well. If I'm assessing you, your, your, I realize that you put in more input. You understand me? You are not, you are not just a past mark student. Okay? Yeah. You yes. are beyond a past mark. You... You are putting a lot of input, so you are a decision student. That's what it means. So don't just be shallow. You just don't want but just straight three points. It, it leads you to a pass mark. But if you want to go merit or distinction, you need to do a bit more research. Add more to from what you have learned yourself, research you have done yourself. Add more to it, and that makes you a better student. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Go. Let's look at the two session two. LO2. It says outline sources and status of legislation, regulation, and guidance in your choosing the same chosen country, UK. It says outline. We, we, we spoke about we, we had a lecture on this. It says outline the sources and the status of legislation, regulation, and guidance in your chosen country. I'm sure you guys remember this lecture. Do you? Yes. Olusha, do you remember this lecture? Okay, so Jesse, you remember, don't you? Yeah. So if you go to LO2, reference them, and you remember this lecture, I say, outline the sources and the status of legislation, regulation, and guidance in your chosen country. So I'm sure, straight to your, go back to your mindset and check. You remember that we did, we spoke about some regulations and legislation, didn't we? Yeah. Yes. And the sources here. So you go back to the lecture notes, look at them, but you see outline sources, outline sources, etc. So you outline them. A regulation. Yeah. So in your outlining, again, like I said, outline them, but you can just give a brief about it, okay? Outline yeah. sources and state of legislation, regulation, and guidance in your chasing country. Having done that, then you go beyond and then you analyze the impact. The word analyze is brought there. So analyze. In analyzing, you are trying to compare and contrast, okay? Yeah. Yes. Analyze. Sometimes you say critically analyze. Analyze the whole, those legislations, regulation and guidance, if, you know, they are achieving. You say analyze the impact of the legislation and guidance on the provision of health and social care provision 
and on health and social care workers. So those legislation, are they meeting the services and also the care workers themselves? Are the impacts, is there any impact? Health and safety regulation obviously has a great impact in the workplace, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Or doesn't it? Yeah. It does. So with all that you've mentioned, you then have to argue, analyze, and see if those regulations or legislation have had a great impact within the healthcare environment. And you can set example with the workplace health and safety, things would have been done haphazardly, and there will be this will be scattered and all that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is how I expect you to answer the, the questions. You can talk about health and safety, you can talk about Redo, you can talk about Kosh and all that, why all these things are coming to place, food hygiene, you can talk about all those things within the legislation and guidance. You see, let's talk about CQC. Regulation, you remember regulation? We mentioned more about professional regulation. Do you guys remember? Yeah. Yes. yes. Good. So don't forget, intertwine them, bring them, and then explain, and then argue. Without GMC, without no regulation for NMC, GMC, NIC, and all those ones, okay? What are the impacts would they make? Of course, if there's no regulation for nursing okay, um, profession, then everybody will do things anyhow, isn't it? Then yes. you're not scared of you being, your, your license being taken from you. And I said, when it comes to carers, you don't fall under MNC, you don't fall under GMC. The only, okay, that could be the like, um, DBS, okay? Yeah. It's only the DBS that can buy you. Okay. Guys, do you have any question? No. Any question? No question. No. Okay. Let's crack on. And don't forget, the second part, it says on health and social care provision and also so two things you have to identify here. One is health and social care provision. The second one is that on social care workers, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. So do not forget two things you have to, the second one, analyze. One is the provision itself. Are there any loopholes within the provision that you think is not serving any impact? Yes or no? And then you now talk about the social care worker themselves. Indeed, you talk about then they say, are they having any impact on social workers? Yes, there is. No, there is not. So you analyze and make your points. Okay. Okay. Can I proceed? Yes. Okay. Yes. Again, to gain a merit grade, you should also analyze the aims and purpose. Very, very important. The aims and purpose. So you see, these things, we expect them to be in your submission. It, they, are, they are just giving you a hint, okay? How you can achieve a merit grade or a decision grade. You understand me? So do not just state it and leave it like that, okay? Don't state the impact. Don't state there or outline them and just leave them. Give flesh to the, what you state and then analyze. You make some point. Analyze the aims and purpose of the legislation and guidance. So analyze what are the purposes? What do they seek to do? Health and safety, why was it adapted? To do what? And then when you have you have identified what it was brought in to do, then you, you, you say that yes, indeed, its purpose serve a purpose because or makes point because in the workplace, health without health and safety regulation, or when there are fire extinguishers, when there are no fire extinguishers, you make you argue it, okay? You argue your way out. And then with a the distinction, you should be then also able to analyze the implication. We spoke about all these things, that failure to do that, your care home can be um, sanctioned. Shut you as a worker, you can be strike off. There can be fines, isn't it? There will yes. be low yes. productivity, low productivity and all. So those are the things that we expect you to assess them. <laughs> assess the implications of failure to comply with the legislation or the guidance, okay? Okay. okay. Any question? We are going to the last bit. We are going to the last bit. So in the final session, which is LO3, 
the first thing is the word describe. We said when we see describe, it also means explain, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Guys, it's, it's not only Jesse speaking. Do you guys agree? Yes. 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 So we That's mentioned that describe when, when we saw it, the describe means also explain and blah. So describe the, the underpinning principles of health and social care. What are the underpinning principles? Is there when you go to your lecture notes? He said, describe them. So the clue is that the word describe is also the word explain. So be more thorough in your explanation, okay? Okay. Make sure okay. you bring your references to it. Refer to the notes, go to the, you get some references, do your own research and add to it. So describe the underpinning principles of health. They are principles of health and social care, if you remember. Maybe you forgot yes. about the underpinning principles. Yeah. Okay. Look, Ma, you say yes. What, what what do you remember? Yeah, for um safeguarding is one of the good principle of um health and social care. Good. Yes, do you uh, remember any any, any of right, that? right to equality. Uh-huh. Right to right to care. That's right. <laughs> and so on. And so on. Okay, just it, just it. That, that, does it bring any remem remembrance? Um, like continuity of care. Yes, continuity of care. Yes, yes. Maintaining continuity of care, and passing on the information, and asking for information when taking over from somebody else. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. the patient. Yeah, yeah. So, the principles are very important. You know, I said there are nine when it comes to human rights. We spoke about, do you remember the human rights? We spoke about it. You guys remember the human rights yeah. act? Yes. And I mentioned that there are nine articles under that you have to study. You know, right to privacy, right to life, you know, all those ones, right to family, family life, right to legal, you know, all those things. When you go back, you can read about it. But they are key underpinning principles of health and social care that you need to take note of. And the word you describe. And then the last bit is that outline how these principles impact. So for every principle that you, if you observe the question and the same sequence, for everything that you state, they want you to state the impact. Okay. Have you followed? Yes. For everything they want you to explain the impact of the provision of care. Outline how these principles impact the provision of care. And these are very easy tasks that you guys can do with and do justice to. Okay. Now it writes below and says, explain initiatives to promote the fundamental principles among, among those working in health. The word explain is given again. Explain initiatives to promote. You are not in the, in the right slide. Oh. You are. Outline uh, this principle. You are okay. You are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So the yeah. last bit is three point one. You are in three point three. Okay. So explain okay. initiatives to promote the fundamental principles among those working in health and social care. Again, this initiative we spoke about it. All you need to do is go back to your lecture notes, look at initiatives, read about it, do research on your own, add to it, and explain. Explain. Take one, explain, take one, explain, take one, and explain. As many that you can remember and do research. Mm -hmm. So not only limiting yourself to the lecture channels, do a bit more research and add to it. That leads you in getting your merit and your distinction, okay? Not only the lecture channels. Okay, guys. Yes, right. okay. So all I'm saying is that if you want to get more masks, merit, and distinction, go beyond the lecture channels. Add more to the lecture will know that this is something you've done on your own. This is how he's able to award you more marks to be more thorough in detail. Okay, so that's it. It says to get a merit rate, assess how the underlying principles support basic human rights. And I told you the human rights, there are about nine of them. Go back and go and read. Okay, right to family life, right to um, and care, lots of them, lots of them, lots of them. If you go back, he said, to get a decision grade, you should also assess the implications of failure to adhere to the fundamental principles of care. 
He says, if you don't do that, there are implications as well. You can't be, people have the right for everything. You cannot deprive them. You cannot um, race against them. So human rights have freedom of the freedom to speech. All those things are part of people's human rights. And that is why when the UK was under the EU, oftentimes if there's an issue where the UK would want to um, return you to your country for whatever reasons, um, the your right to life or family life, if you have a family or children here, it's got right to family life or right to live. We have to activate the European Union Convention of Human Rights that overrides the UK law. Now, you know, the UK is out of the EU. So it's a UK law that stands now. But two years ago, three years ago, the EU law overrides the UK law, okay? All right? All right. Yeah. We used to call it ECHR. Have you heard of it before? No. No. Oh, European Convention of Human Rights. Have you not heard it before? No. But you no. know the UK was one time in the EU. You know that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so when the UK was in the EU, the UK human rights could not override the EU human rights. You understand me? Because yeah. EU human rights override the UK law at the time. So you could not use the UK human rights. It was more, you have to rely on the European Convention of Human Rights. And anytime there's something against you in the UK, the UK law could not hold cannot hold you liable because you can use the European law against the UK law, okay? And those are some of the things that confronted or led to the UK coming out of the EU. You understand? Now, you remember that in those of you who have lived in the UK for a long while, you remember that in those days, when an EU person is going to marry somebody from abroad, it was more easier. You guys remember? Yeah. Yes, you remember, do you? Yeah. But if the British it was, was going to, it was more difficult. Yeah. Because the law requires a, a, a British to be earning 18,600 per annum. By yeah, law. it was easier to go and work overseas as well. Exactly. These days, the laws have changed. Guys, are you, are you guys with me? Yes. Exactly. So the human rights... I mentioned seven of them. Go and read about it. And then look at the implications if you don't adhere to those fundamental principles of care. If you don't adhere to it, what will be the replications? Okay. And it it, 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 it many various it says learning outcomes assessment criteria. If you go to learning outcomes, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3M1, 3M2, you can get all the answers from this on your model, okay? And yeah. yours is to do yours is to do is to do more research so you can add more to it and explain more details with references as well. Where you think you can bring examples, you bring them in, where you think you can bring some diagrams, you can bring them in. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. It says you have two weeks from the assignment discussion date to submit your coursework. Some tips. Use the indicative context on the unit specification. Like I've said, if you go on the assignment brief, you will see what we call unit specification. You remember for every lecture, I normally go on one slide to explain before I start the lecture. Do you notice that? Yeah. That is what we call unit specification. It's on your assignment brief. Okay? That's on the model. Yes, it's on the model. Guys, do you have that? Yeah. Um, uh, yes. uh, slide shine. Do you guys that? It's on your model. Okay. Look for it. It's on your assignment brief. On the assignment brief, you normally get students' unit specification. That tells you exactly what they expect you to do, okay? In okay. answering the questions. It's there. And to be a guide, that will help you. Okay. All right. Good. So, um, it says assignment presentation. If you are asked to do present, they say document structure and formatting. It says that it is good practice to put the unit number and the name. Of course, if you have to, you know how to do that unit number 
you can't in the name for every unit that start start with a bit of introduction to the unit. Model related. So you see, like I said, do do submit the assignment as if you're a university graduate. Don't just say, oh, I'm just, you know, put a bit of flesh into this, into this, into this what you want to talk about, you know, a bit of introduction if you can. You say, you know, yeah, you know, explain a bit. Um, maybe work um health and social care arts, like I did mention, a brief introduction. So this art seeks to do that. Then you can look at the impact and all that. So a bit of introduction will do. Okay. They say write out the LO as a unit learning outcome if you are mentioning it. Otherwise, it is not required. Okay. So okay. if you want to categorize state that LO1, then put LO1. Either and that is not to you just put the head in, you can answer the question. Okay. So you can either okay. put the, the number LO1 or put the question and then answer them. Okay. 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 The font size, you say the font size is 12. I'm sure many of you know that already. There should, sure. be, line, there should be line space. You know, you can either use line space or no line space. You know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it says use line spacing because it makes it very nice. But you can choose no line spacing is up to you as well. Provided your writings are clear and the font size is 12. But somebody can see clearly. They say the 1.5 page number to be inserted. If you want to do page numbering, then use 1.5, okay? Okay. If you want to do table of contents, you can. You can. It's not composite, but you can. Conclusion, you can state. Conclusion is having having done all one, two, three, and everything. You can state below all. You can do conclusion for every one and um, unit one. You can conclude. You need two, you can conclude something. You need three, you can conclude and say, in my, like I, exactly what I said, in my opinion, having done all this, I believe that these, these um, um, policy legislations and all that are very good in the healthcare and we believe that there should be a bit more additions to it. About, you, know, you know what I mean? Conclude. Yeah. Conclude 20, 30, you can do it. And then I've already mentioned about references and bibliography, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. And then we are done. Thank you. Any question at all? Any questions at all, please? Olushola, any questions? Elisha, any question? No question. No. Any no. question? Oyomi, any question? No, thank you. Good. So we are done. We are on the group. Any questions at all? You can always send an email or send me a message, okay? Okay. So, All right. So we also appreciate for the the you know, assignments to be shared on the module, so people are, can also watch the video again, or probably one? the link. Of, this one, or probably on the link, it, what it, group, the it, link. It is recorded, so give give them Monday that meeting will work on it. Okay. All right. All right. All right, guys. Okay. We have seven participants who have joined again. We are seven. We are seven, isn't it? Yeah. So who, who have I not noticed? Seven, including you. Oh, okay, six. That's right. You're right. All right, guys, have a lovely day. Do not hesitate. If you have any questions, you can, you can message me directly, okay? Thank All right. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye -bye. And leave your comments as well. Jesse and all that, you can leave your comments as well. If you want to leave any message on the group, you can. Okay? Okay on the group or on the chat, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.